Hi, everyone. Yeah, as, as you may have heard from different sources all around, uh, we are already living in the cloud age, uh, which means that uh, most of the software has become available as a service. And uh, it is quite common that we use software on subscription base with apps running on a data store and, and um, on the shared infrastructure somewhere on the internet. And that is the case with the Atlassian products for some time already. And uh, this change impacts the users of Atlassian apps as well. So you may think of how easy bear looks regarding that, uh, that shift. So, and uh, uh, yeah, my name is Janis, and I'm going to tell you today about uh, different aspects of what you might experience with the cloud transformation moving from your server or data center to the cloud and considering the continuous use of the EasyBI app for Jira. I am working for EasyBI support team a bit more than four years. Uh, reporting is the is an art, but it is also an engineering discipline. Uh, so we uh, we received from time to time questions in our support uh, tickets from customers about EasyBI on cloud and how to get on cloud with EasyBI. So uh, we uh, have uh, some answers to those questions. Uh, this presentation is mainly intended for those who are uh, considering trans transition to cloud and might be thinking of possible impacts from this step, but uh, but it might also give a better insight for those who are already on cloud. So first, let us have a look on uh, motivation, on benefits, why you should think about cloud transformation, and how easy BI team assures that you receive the expected benefits from being on cloud. And then look, look in uh, more details of some differences between EasyBI on server or data center. And finally, a short reminder about the option to migrate EasyBI to cloud. Yes, you can find a lot of explanations about the trend of moving to cloud, the, the change of the cost models, uh, reducing the software administration tasks, and those are the most popular motivation for that. Uh, yeah, Atlassian also has done some significant steps uh, recently announcing the stop of sales of new Jira server licenses and uh, marking the end of sales for the server apps on the marketplace. Atlassian promotes their cloud first program, giving more hints about what could be the future with Atlassian uh, products. But the uh, cloud transformation actually is a complex decision and usually means many steps and careful uh, cost benefit analysis. So uh, uh, I will play uh, with this idea considering the easy, easy BI, easy BI uh, for Jira would be the main argument for making uh, the decision to move or not to move to cloud. First uh, uh, idea is that Jira itself has is a quite different product on cloud or on server data center. And the question is how close the apps can be on both platforms. Uh, what is important for Easy BI? Uh, although uh, cloud and server just, uh, might look different, the core data behind them, those uh, apps is the same. So we use different APIs for data import, uh, but all the rest is the same. We can build the same data cube on both platforms and both platforms can use the same code base of our app. So except the part of the app is for data import. One more uh, uh, thing to consider is that origins of EasyBI app come from the standalone product for data import and analysis. It was from the very beginning designed as a multi-tenant solution and that made it cloud friendly and uh, EasyBI almost from the start was available on both platforms on the cloud on, on server app. So I put here uh, two screenshots from server and cloud apps and not, not many users might notice uh, the difference. So this uh, 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 screenshot with the Jira link is from server. Uh, this link, uh, this screenshot without this link is from, from cloud because on the cloud, this EasyBI app is wrapped in the, uh, the Jira interface. 
the cloud apps has one common benefit for all who goes to cloud. So first users are uh, exempted from planning any upgrades or migration to new versions. Uh, that will happen automatically. You are always on the most recent version. So all the uh, newest features are uh, available for you on cloud. Uh, a side effect for that is that testing uh, at the vendor side will not always find all the bugs. Some users will find them. Uh, uh, but the good news is that uh, we can react almost immediately to those bugs on the cloud. Uh, what is even better news of, uh, on cloud that we can uh, find bugs before users will find them. We monitor system behavior, we can monitor logs after deployment of significant features and react immediately. Uh, server version still requires a new build, a new release uh, for the bug fixes to take effect and to, to reach your, your environment. Uh, we can thank you to all of your, our customers. We continuously receive feedback from our customers uh, how important part of our product is provisioning of the timely and uh, valuable support. Um, being on cloud is more good news for the users regarding support. We can access the cloud data upon request and can provide more focused guidance once we see what you are trying to do and what exactly is not as expected. Uh, what else we can do and we are trying uh, already is the preventive maintenance. We recently implemented a routine process for checking if the data import processes are running without errors and check all the accounts where data import fails for the reasons to fix. And uh, there is a potential to improve uh, this, this part even, even further. Uh, yeah, uh, we receive customers questions from their compliance security teams about how different processes are implemented for the Easy BI Cloud app to maintain the continuity, availability, data protection, and other critical aspects that enable a safe use of the app on the cloud. Mm. Uh, the reason for those questions is that many things seem to be out of control of the users. So no databases and no servers, uh, no need to install headless Chrome, uh, no need to allocate memory uh, for GVM, but uh, still the truth is that your cloud is always someone else's server. Uh, so all those administration tasks are done by Easy BI DevOps team. The recommended way to check the status for you is to find this Easy BI status page, maybe subscribe to it. Uh, yeah, but just to mention that there are many other monitoring tasks for making the system working continuously. Mm. And uh, there is an alert system for our DevOps team, uh, which are permanently on call with, uh, for uh, in the cases of significant uh, disruption of service. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so far, uh, growth of easy BI usage happens all the time, and uh, that requires uh, to properly scale up the application. So I also included one chart on my presentation. Uh, this is a, a screenshot. This is a screenshot from the report from our usage statistics data cube. Uh, where all the Easy BI cloud usage is recorded. And this feature is not yet for uh, cloud users, but we monitor that. And in that chart, you can see this, uh, that so far, uh, Easy BI customer base on cloud has been growing uh, linearly in terms of active reports and uh, import counts. And uh, that allowed us to avoid some extreme IT resource shortages, but we still need to put permanent effort to adjust the solution for continuous growth of the usage. Uh, we, we believe that Easy BI Cloud is the largest Easy BI instance in the world. Uh, and the production environment now works on uh, 15 servers. And here are some uh, overall um, parameters of uh, how, what, what can be characterized, what characterizes our, our infrastructure. 
Mm. Computing resources uh, is a commodity, so you can increase those resources almost instantly. But uh, simple increase of, uh, of the resources is not always the solution for scaling the app. Uh, we recently found, was, have a, had a case that some uh, that increase of allocated memory made the performance worse because the garbage collection of processes of huge GVM uh, made the system become irresponsive for, for some longer time. So we needed uh, a significant change of the architecture and distribute report execution across several child processes on our instance running on, on different servers to fix this scaling requirement. Some users send us uh, extensive questionnaires about the security and data protection of EZBI when uh, trying to make decision for moving to cloud or, or uh, after some time of being uh, cloud, uh, cloud customers. And here comes answers that are asked by customers most often. And the first, uh, uh, yeah, that's the real, uh, that to reduce the risk of uh, data disclosure resulting from some bug, uh, the data uh, of multiple tenants is segregated at the database level. So each account on cloud is on a separate database. Uh, the application access data through secure connections, and we utilize the encryption options of our database hosting provider to encrypt the data at, at the rest. And EZBI currently stored on the European Union data center, and we are monitoring the Atlassian solution for the data residency, so we can offer uh, our customers data residency option as well when this solution might be available for, for cloud apps. Uh, uh, yeah, the most effective security testing uh, is the participation in the bug bounty programs. Raymond's mentioned that already. Uh, we are members of two such programs uh, uh, where hundreds of hackers are trying to find the security bugs and uh, receive uh, money for that. So they are very motivated and very highly specialized in, in different security uh, areas. So uh, has contributed very much to, to improve its security. And uh, there's a participation in the Atlassian Cloud Security Program triggered us to improve the security awareness and implement several processes to establish not only technical, but also administrative controls uh, like uh, access uh, to customer data, pass password policies, change control, backup, and, and this disaster recovery procedures. Uh, despite our effort, there are some feature gaps between server and cloud apps, and some of them are beyond our ability of impact, but some on our backlog. And there are things to check before decision to move to, to cloud. The first part is the integrations where we depend on the app vendors, and, and there are some uh, easy by app customizations that are possible on server, but not on cloud. Uh, as you saw, we have strong infrastructure, but there are some limits which we cannot afford to provide for users uh, on cloud, not to put at risk other users, since on cloud users share the infrastructure with all the others. And that, uh, as I mentioned, that there is difference technically between uh, EasyBI cloud and server, how we receive data from your instance and that might become visible when using some uh, of advanced features of, uh, of EasyBI. And we are still gathering user feedback about further improvements of some self-service features that are available on server and data center, but, but not on cloud yet. So uh, a bit more uh, about all those areas. Uh, here is a table uh, of overview uh, how the integrations with apps are now implemented. Uh, what you can see that support for server apps is a bit wider. And the reason for that is that uh, server and data center gives us more options to implement our uh, data import. We can use Java APIs or access database or sometimes the REST API uh, if that gives the better options for, for data access. On cloud, we can rely only on the REST API and sometimes wait for suitable solutions from, from other vendors. 
<clears throat> so uh, yeah, you can. You are welcome to contact support if you have questions about these or other uh, integrations, because some other integrations are also possible with the advanced features of EZBI. Yeah, uh, you can check our documentation site of how some small features of customization that are not currently possible on cloud. Uh, most likely that we could not yet see a good solution for that or did not see a significant interest from the users like interface customization, custom locals or dashboard subscription uh, email text. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me mention once again your, that your cloud is someone else's server and some uh, limitations uh, arise from that. Uh, there are two servers allocated on our infrastructure working for the data imports, but we currently do not provide all customers with the data import frequency uh, as high as once in 10 minutes. Uh, there is an alternative solution for cloud users. It is the option of process events which collects once an hour all the changes and performs hourly data updates uh, in between the regular import. This option uh, does a bit less than regular import, but it is much less costly feature from the resource point of view. Uh, there is one more feature we do not recommend, uh, uh, as Diana presented today already, uh, that you can uh, increase the uh, report timeout setting. Uh, uh, there are four servers currently running to process the report execution on our cloud, but thousands of complex reports running simultaneously can take uh, much more than that. Uh, so uh, in majority of cases, a report can be optimized and we yeah, include this topic regularly on our presentation topics. So you are welcome to reach out, uh, support if, if uh, you, if some of your reports reach the report timeout uh, of, of one minute. And there is one more area where uh, EasyBI for cloud is better than server. As we use different data APIs on server, it, uh, it gives slightly more data available for you to pre-process uh, with the JavaScript feature of EasyBI, uh, either by JavaScript calculated custom fields or custom JavaScript code. Uh, you you, you uh, may need to check what you can see in the issue JSON once you work with JavaScript calculations. Uh, you may have some positive surprise when, when move it to cloud. Uh, yeah, and there are features of EasyBI Cloud that are not uh, yet available for customers. We are gathering the interest of the users to provide such features for all, uh, expecting that, uh, that maybe more big customers will be on cloud uh, in the future. Uh, so far, we have identified some of those, including the usage statistics, as I mentioned already, uh, better access to audit logs, uh, allowing to to better have better insight what happens on 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 your your uh, easy bi and uh, option to recover uh, lost reports or uh, maybe some some uh, so change control of of the reports uh, those features are not yet planned uh, so we are happy to uh, have your feedback and uh, it's Interesting to read your, uh, the chat room mentioning those, those things today. So thanks in advance for helping us to find uh, the ways to improve our, our product on cloud. EasyBI uh, follows the Atlassian roadmaps for the cloud future. We provide the option to migrate your EasyBI reports and dashboards uh, to, to, to cloud instance. And this, the intended way to do that is once you migrate your local Jira instance to cloud, so you are welcome to try uh, uh, it out. Uh, it might give you a more qualified decision uh, for moving to cloud with EasyBI. So please check the administration options of, of your server or data center instance to see how the Maya data, database migrator can help you move to the cloud. So thank you for your attention. You are welcome to submit your questions in chat rooms or, or uh, use any of channels we are um, uh, supporting you. 
थैंक यू